Asia Irving's diving efforts pay off against Perry Hall. Franklin's Andreas Price levitates for this catch against McDonough. Perry Hall's Kara Dietrich with the golden goal, Darius Sample uses every inch of the end zone. All coming up next on BCPS Sports Beat. Hello everyone, Happy New Year and welcome back to an awesome episode of BCPS Sports Scene. We'll take a look at how some of the area teams are doing so far this basketball season. In boys basketball, Kenwood traveled to Newtown. The Titans entered the game undefeated in league play. Let's begin with some Monday night hoops as the Newtown Titans host the Kenwood Bluebirds. First quarter action, Julian Reese gets the Titans on the board first as he drives to the glass with this easy bucket. Then they get another easy one off the pressure as Jordan Guerrero is able to lay it in, putting them up four to nothing. But Kenwood comes right back as Eric Martin floats it off the glass for the deuce. Then Newtown start on a run as Martez Robinson drains this three from long distance, forcing them to call a timeout. Kenwood was able to add a couple more buckets, but the Titans went on a 10-0 run as Guerrero drives to the cup but finds Andrew Mills for the flush and was up 17-7 going into the second quarter. The Bluebirds start the quarter hot as Dejon Harris splits two defenders, lays it in for the Dukes. Then he drives to the cup and gets another bucket and the Bluebirds went on a 6-2 run, getting them within six. But the Titans will come right back with this three by Robinson. And on this fast break, Darrell Collins goes in for the monster dunk, putting them up by 11. But both teams would go back and forth with buckets. And the Bluebirds will cut the lead to 10 as Sean Evans knocks down this three to end the second quarter. But the Titans were up 38 to 28. Well, the Titans kept the scrappy Bluebirds away in the final two quarters as they outscored Kenwood 49 to 23. They win big 87 to 51 with sharp shooting and pressure defense. A solid win for the Titans. In other boys' action, Delaney's squad traveled to Milford Mill to take on the Millers. With a game of two powerhouse teams, let's see who ends up on top. The Milford Mill Academy Millers hosted the boys' varsity basketball game against the Delaney Lions. Milford Mill was looking to be Delaney's second loss this year, but the Lions were not giving up without a fight. Milford Mill passes the ball down the court and Darius Woods sets himself up near the hoop to score for the Millers. Delaney's Che Evans carries the ball down the court and teammate Ryan Conway sinks the basket. Evans finds his groove as he carries the ball down the court again and scores another basket. Milford Mill's Jermaine Goodwin comes from the right, dodging his opponents and scores for the Millers. The Lions don't give up as Ryan Conway shoots a free throw and scores for Delaney. Derek Schultz shoots from a distance for Milford. His shot misses, but luckily he's able to run up and shoot again, another basket for the Millers. Schultz finds his place up near the basket and scores another point for the Milford Mill Academy. Delaney begins to step up their game as Jalen Webter sinks a basket from the far right corner. Delaney continues their scoring spree as Evans dodges the Millers and scores again. There's no stopping the Lions now as Isaiah Cornish scores yet another basket. But Milford doesn't give up as the ball is tipped by four players. Milford's Jermaine Goodwin ends the rally as he shoots and sinks a basket. Milford finds their rhythm as Goodwin moves from the far left corner of the court and scores more for the Millers. But Delaney will not accept defeat as Che Evans sinks a basket effortlessly. In an attempt of raising their score, Milford Mill tries for one last shot and it goes in. But Delaney continues to dominate the court as Cameron Byers shoots a three from the right side, securing the Lions scoreboard. Both teams never gave up, but the game ends with a score of 91 to 63 and Delaney takes another win under their sleeve. Delaney with a big win over the Millers in their quest for a county title. In girls play, Franklin traveled to Chesapeake to take on the Bayhawks. 
The Franklin girls basketball team traveled to Chesapeake to take on the Bayhawks in a matchup of county Division II teams. Franklin got off to a good start with senior Dominique Doss hitting a three. Then the Indians worked the ball to Tamaya Carter who found the bucket. But the Bayhawks soon took control. Tamara Stanford dropping a three. Then, after a steal by Kayla Cabbagestock, Stanford hits another. Rinse and repeat, another steal by Cabbagestock, who finds Trinity Horton at the top of the arc and she drops it in. Moments later, it's Horton, again from long distance, as Chesapeake opened up a 19-8 lead at the end of one. The Bayhawks kept the pressure on in the second, Stanford driving for a bucket. Then, Cabbage Dog goes coast to coast for two. For Franklin, Doss kept the Indians within shooting range, with an N1. Then she goes end to end for the score. But the Bayhawks were on target from outside as Horton pours in another three as Chesapeake led by nine at the half. Franklin began to claw its way back in the third. Kelly Sorol with the putback. And then again, off the inbound pass from Doss. Then Doss goes end to end again. and finds Sorol in the paint as the Indians took a two-point lead with under two to go in the third. Fourth quarter, Tamara Stanford with a steal and score. Then Denira Godwin adds three from the corner. And when Ayanna Booz drives to the cup, it's tied at 46. But it was all Bayhawks from there. Cabbage Stock drives the lane for two. Horton kicks out to Stanford, who nets a pair. And Horton off a give and go with Cabbage Stock as Chesapeake pulled away with the 58 46 win. Chesapeake came on strong in the fourth quarter to capture the win over a scrappy Franklin team. Up next, we will take a look at some wrestling. Two of the top teams in Division 1A, 2A battle it out as Hereford takes on Sparrows Point. With both teams undefeated in league competition, something had to give. A matchup of Baltimore County wrestling heavyweights took place at Sparrows Point as the Pointers played host to the Hereford Bulls. The home team got off to a good start at 195 pounds as Drew Gorsuch put the pointers up 3-0 with a decision over Nick Moore. Sparrows Point extended their lead at 220 pounds as Lex Carr, who led throughout his bout with Levis Contreras, got a fall at the 5-10 mark, putting the pointers up 9-0. The Bulls got on the scoreboard in the 285-pound match when Nate Reichert pinned Justin Kuhn 31 seconds into the third period to make it 9-6 pointers. At 106, Hereford's Noah Trayband was in total control, pinning Mikey Lewis at 54 seconds to put the Bulls in front 12-9. At 113, pointer Wayne Brooks earned a decision over Jack Amos to not the score at 12 all. Hereford regained the lead at 120 as Morgan Vandergrift took a 13-6 decision over Gage Carr. The Pointers began to assert control with the 126-pound bout as Richard Davis pinned Jack Wickheiser at the 245 mark. At 132, 
It was Danny Davis getting the pin over Ethan Bell 50 seconds into the bout to stretch the pointer's lead to 24-15. At 138, Luke Honig dominated the action on his way to a pin over Drew Bowen at 134 to make it 30-15 pointers. At 145, Mike Fouts only needed 36 seconds to dispatch Ryan McMurdy, giving Sparrows Point another six points. Hereford got back in the win column at 152 pounds as Zach Zaruba earned an 8-4 decision over Mike Brower. But Sparrows Point picked up six points at 160 pounds as Jake Lohr got a second period pin over Jake Doyle. At 170 pounds, Hereford's Jimmy Kells pinned Colin Francis. And in the final bout of the night at 182, Jake Rollo pinned Willie Miller to wrap up a 48-24 win for Sparrows Point. Keep an eye out for our next show and make sure to follow us on Twitter at BCPS Sports Scene for ongoing updates. Thanks for watching. <laughs>